Alright. Time to set some shit up. Performance. Uh, troubleshoot a little bit here first, make sure everything's alright. Should not be getting any guitar audio yet. Finger hurts. Um, it should be sub-only chat, uh, if you guys can verify that for me, I believe. Am I ever tuned? I'll have to adjust the camera, obviously. I just want to see if I can uh, have my amp going at the same time as the direct to audio input. I just back loop. I don't need. Got one of those. That's the guitar first. If it's screaming fucking loud, um. Sorry, not first. So let's uh let's get levels together. Sound check. <laughs> oh, I'm cutting off. Okay, I could fix that one second. Uh, I had set probably the noise get a little too too tough. Check that out. Check check check. Thank you, Spoonerism. Can you hear the guitar? It's low, I've got a lot more I can go, so I just want to make sure it's not blowing us out like Counter-Strike did. Now i got still more room to go. There's more room too, still, I can go higher. Let's just go to the max, let's see. Start, start at the top, work our way down. No? Too loud. Just took it to 11, it was too much. Too much for the people. That's it. Now I wait to see if I can hear myself too. Check it out. Is that coming through? I don't want that to come through. Is that uh amp creating any kind of feedback loop or anything like that? Okay, audio's good. Nice. Yeah, I set up earlier to make sure I didn't look like a fool scrambling around. We had people live. All right. Let's get this camera set up. Good. Sorry about the ugly nose. What the fuck happened? Let's see, though. That's always something. All right. Full guitar. Just about. All right. See my bare legs. Sorry, it's Florida somewhere. Shorts. Sub only chat today. First time. So I figured I could be comfortable. All my leash. Um, how's the camera angle? How's the audio? I should probably move this. Ah, that's not gonna help, is it? Is that all right? Or is it fine here? I'll just project. Everything's fine. All right. I'm doing good. So this is uh this is your stream today. This is all about whatever you guys want to learn, whatever you want to talk about. I move a bit to the right. My right or your right? So this is for you guys, for my loyal subs, all my friends. And um I have no my right. Yeah, that was my right. I have no uh, formal plans today other than just talking about whatever you guys want to talk about, whether it's Trivium songs, um, exercises, doesn't matter, anything you want. Um, the only thing we can't do is songs in the drop seven tuning, um, unless I tune this down, which I can do with the Evertune. Um, I just don't have any of my uh, drop A sharp guitars built for my house yet. I have every other tuning. And I even have the Mritu tuning. All I could say is it's the same as Caffernome tuning. With Caffernome tuning. One. 
Okay, so um, what you guys want to talk about? Easy question. Where's the easy question? I want to try out the Groove Gear fret wraps, but I'm not sure what size to get. I have your seven string. Okay, so if it's seven string, you want to go large. This is a large, and which is kind of confusing because the six string, you want to go small. You don't want medium six string. They do have their size chart on Amazon for sure. I'm sure it's on their site too, one of the products. Um, question out of the way. One more question and we're done. Uh, some basic stuff for someone looking to pick up guitar. Okay. Definitely try to see if you could take some lessons from a good teacher. Like once you learn how to learn, guitar is easy. I know it sounds kind of confusing, but what I mean by that, once you learn how to hold a pick, hold a guitar correctly, um, read tabulature. I can't read music, but I can read tabs. Once you can do those things and you can teach yourself songs, then you're in good shape. Mike cuts out sometimes. Okay. Um, that's the filter. It's actually the gate. Trying to get fancy with the noise gate, and uh, I might have overdone it. Check, check, check. Let's go over here. This should fix it. Check. Yeah. Okay, that should fix it. Just let me know. Yeah. So once you once you learn how to learn, that's the way to go. Amp. Um, amp is your call. It depends what you do. For guitar, if you're a hobby guitar player, I always recommend getting a combo. Nothing gigantic, nothing crazy. You do not need a stack in your house. Um, for me, for my house, I have my Kemper, and it's plugged into that atomic wedge thing back there, uh, back directly behind me, that thing. Brand doesn't matter necessarily. Um, it's whatever you like. I mean, I love a Roland Cube. I love playing with those things, Little this little guy. Um, I've written a lot of songs on that. I think Into the Mouth of Hell was written on that. A lot of shit was written on that. So it, it really, same with guitar. I know um, I'm being a bad salesman right now, but it doesn't matter what your gear is. There is no right answer. Um, there's no wrong answer. I even see people kind of critique this guitar saying that the scale length is wrong and then it's a six string scale length shouldn't work on a seven string. And I've seen that a couple times and I usually make a joke like uh, it works for me and I'm a professional musician, so if you're doing something that requires more than a professional musician, uh, you must be doing something pretty insane. <laughs> Not to be a dick, but I mean, there's no right or wrong. Uh, one of my favorite things I ever saw was it might get loud, and uh, Jack White was talking about how his first guitar was this like plastic hundred dollar piece of crap, and he wrote some of the biggest songs ever on it. Um, so there, there is no right or wrong answer. If it's in tune and it makes a sound, you're good. Did Chuck Shoulder influence your playing? Absolutely, especially um, on riffs, because I got into Sound of Perseverance first, and especially riffs like the Ascendancy riff. Those kinds of riffs, you know, um, and I've used that a lot as exercises, like. It's a good place to start. So what this picking pattern is, it's a little strange. It's not quite formal alternate picking. It's down, 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 up, down. So down, 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 up, down. And this is a riff from Ascendancy, but a slight variation of it. So down, 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 up, down. Like that. And the way to get good, to get fast, is to find a good tempo and a metronome. I like the, uh, I think it's the Ultimate Guitar app. You buy like the, the metronome pack. I like that metronome just fine. I like it to be simple. Um, so you start off a nice slow tempo. You've got it down. And then gradually over whether that practice that you're in. Or over the weeks, over the months, or the years, you just slowly pick it up. But you have to master it every single tempo before you bother going too fast. So. This is like a rhythm exercise I like. And it works anywhere. I 
that kind of thing. And it's just about making fun stuff. It doesn't have to stick in a key. I used to think you need a stick in key. You don't. It's whatever works, whatever sounds good. There, there really are, there are rules to music, but it's important to break them too. And it's important to do what sounds good. When should I upgrade my pickups using a bare stock Epiphone SG now? Your call. Um, just like I was saying about gear earlier, if it sounds good to you, if you can make it sound good, awesome. I've always loved EMGs. Some guitar players don't like EMGs. I have always loved them. If you put some EMGs in that thing, it'll sound amazing, in my opinion. I'm starting to question my picking technique. While I learned the intro riff to the sin in the sentence, been playing along with a metronome and can't break through the 160 BPM cleanly. That is the intro sin in the sentence. That part. So this thing. That part. The Cory part, I don't know. I do all straight pick. I don't do all down pick for this one. Ah, the Cory riff. I don't know the Cory riff. Cory, uh, Cory's kind of a phenom because he he does weird shit. Sometimes things that he will do that I would do alternate picking, he'll do all down pick, like the um. Forsake not the dream. I down I alternate pick it live. He down picks, but he doesn't down pick as hard as I do. So that's the difference. He goes like. See, I'm not used. To, you can tell by my picking being sloppy, but I like to go. And you notice I tuck my fingers together on that one. I've kind of noticed recently that. If I have these together, it simulates more of a down pick sound on the alternate picking. So, like when this open, this is kind of similar. Or maybe it's mental, but I feel like it's, it tightens up. So there's all sorts of different little hand mechanics and things you can do. Sorry, I keep pulling on this. This sprain hurts. Any advice for having technical ability but never being able to really learn a song all the way through? You just have to sit and convince yourself that you're going to do it. Harcom, thank you for the sub. Uh, you just have to push through it. You got to pick a song and say, I'm going to learn this song from start to finish. Because that happens to me too. I'll start a song and I'll just kind of feel over it. And I'll be like, all right, well, I learned enough. I'm going to move on. You need, you need to pick something and go for it. If you're speaking of technical ability... Pick what kind of ability you want to you want to focus on. If it's something like I want to learn down picking correctly, master of puppets. If it's something like I want to learn alternate picking correctly for metal, it'd be hanger. Uh, not hanger team. What's the first song off Rust in Peace? I've never properly heard that one. That one. You know, find what you want to learn and convince yourself I have to learn this whole song by the end of the week by the end of the month holy war sorry about that damn all that lack of air to my brain getting choked up by our security guard today as a lot of you guys saw earlier that's that's why it's not working I've been playing around for six years now I'm pretty good rhythm playing but my lead still suffers a comparison I can play into the mouth of hell skipping down picking riff easy but the beyond oblivion solo is a bitch that's a Corey solo how do you recommend getting better at lead getting better at lead it's the same thing as rhythm um I'll show you, for example, right now. So on this app that I like, it's, the, it's got the G with the horns on it. I think it's Ultimate Guitars. You don't need like a fancy metronome. I used to always buy fancy metronomes. What's up? What's up, Houts? Um, just get a good tempo. So set something to like. Can you hear that? Set a nice tempo. Let's say we're doing. Um, we're talking about leads. Let's see what kind of lead thing. We'll say. So triplet. You just sit there at a tempo that's nice and easy. And once you get that mastered, you slowly bump it up like two, three, four, five. Get that mastered. Like, all right, I got that. And what, this might not happen as quick. It could happen quicker, it could happen slower. 
and you just keep and eventually you get to the goal of what the song is It's nice and comfortable. That kind of thing. So it's all about learning it slow, learning it easy, using a metronome to really make sure you're getting every single gauge on the way up. Any advice to get better sweeping? Same thing. Um, find, find a nice exercise. My favorite exercise would be this form of sweep pick, where it doesn't matter what key you're in, but it's this form. And to show you how little no I know about music theory, I don't even know what form this is. Sounds like minor, but this is also minor. So I like this one the best. So find something like that, get a tempo. That's 167. Sweeping's weird, because sometimes when it's too slow, it's a little hard. So the picking pattern, up. Starts on an up. Up, hey, up, pull off, up, down, 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 up, hammer. Switch picks, hold on. Pick is dead. So sweep picking, it's it's easier than it looks or than it sounds. It's just a matter of getting that new picking pattern down. And you can't pick it too hard. That's why I've kind of like gravitated away from sweep picking because I like to pick hard. So up, pull, up, down, 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 hammer. Up, pull, up, down, 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 hammer. So you get it mastered. You gradually pick up the speed, but you want to make sure it's always clean. Do this form too, less fingers or more fingers. And then try it in other places. And it looks like I'm a little cleaner if I keep it at just these three fingers versus these four. So there's the angle. Some years ago, you showed some five-string sweep patterns on your Dean, if I remember correctly, a major, a minor, and a seventh pattern. Maybe that's a seventh, that other thing. Can you explain that? I've got the major and minor one done, but can't figure out the seventh. Is the seventh this thing? You might have just helped me figure out the other thing, too. Is that the one? So the major, let's go, uh, so by the way, I'm in B flat, in case you're playing along. The major, 8th fret, 12th fret. 8, 12, 10, 10, 10, 8, 12. Sorry, 13. I'm not really a sweepy guy, so I might sell a little slot. And that's that's the big thing to figure out whether you like middle finger or right finger better. Or, yeah. And where's the major? Oh wait, that's minor. Major. And I guess this is the seventh one. This one's actually my tightest one because it doesn't have a bar. The bar thing is something that's always been a little rough for me. So what we do here: it's seventh fret, twelfth fret, eight, wait, seven, twelve, ten, nine, ten. 8-12. That one deformance? So, 7, 12, 10, 9, 10, 8, 12. And that's the one I use the most. I like that one because there's not a bar. It could be the minor one. <laughs> I don't know what the seventh one is. Do you mean diminished by chance? Oh, you do this one. But yeah, this one is my personal favorite one because it doesn't require a bar. And even on things like... I'm just going to segue so you might have to remind me where we were. Ember to Inferno. Like, I can't do a bar chord properly because of the anatomy of this finger. 
So they're always, it always misses a couple notes. Even on the Elvis cover yesterday, I skipped it. Like it gets a little weird around here. It's all right today. But what I did on Ember, when I did on a couple of choruses, I actually just got rid of this note because my finger didn't sound tight enough there. So, so I swapped it to this chord. And Elvis yesterday was supposed to be a B major. I didn't like the way it sounded acoustic, so I just dropped that finger to change it. Change my seventh. So diminished. Uh, diminished, there isn't technically a five string one. Diminished would be. So you can do it. Corey's much better at those than me. So that would be. That one? I guess that one is in uh, a couple solos. It's in Down from the Sky. Which I fuck up at every single show, by the way. Isn't that, uh, Woody the Woodpecker's laugh? Or one of those cartoon characters. So what this is, 12, 15, 13, 16, diminished. And then just another diminished pattern. 16, 15, 13. So that one is down, hammer, down, hammer, down, down, hammer. I don't love that. I wish I didn't make that the solo. My camera's out of focus. How do you make this camera focus? Yeah, I, I don't like that one. I wish I didn't do it. Every night that we play that song, I'm like, man, I wish this solo was different. I just need to put more time on it. Questions? Keep it coming. But yeah, street sweet picking, you just got to put a lot of time into it. A lot of freaking time. And that's what everything is. But I think the most important thing is to put time in the fundamentals. Put time in the rhythm. Uh, that's all good, Mick. Um, if you're new, I would say what you should be focusing on is setting a metronome pattern. So just get a tempo you can down pick. Just whatever. It doesn't even matter the chords. Can be... It does. It sounds like it can be like any 80s thrash band. See? Yeah, I mean, that's all this really is, just through the metronome. And that's what a lot of practice is. Just sitting there and making shit up. If you want to be Slayer, it'd be, uh... So what a metronome does is it keeps perfect time. And that's why it's so important to practice to a metronome because that's the only like real mechanically precise thing you can rehearse to. Like a drummer is going to be off. We've had some of those that aren't quite on. Um, so it's a metronome is a really good thing. And we play to a metronome live. Alex plays to a metronome and we play to him. Um, yeah. So... That's how you do it. Um, if you're new at guitar, basics. Uh, the first song I ever learned ever was Big Me by the Foo Fighters. Um, I don't think I have a clean patch ready to go for you right now, but just. Probably sounds like hell distorted, but oh. I recommend that. If you're starting off on guitar, you should learn Big Me by the Foo Fighters first because that's a nice, easy, good first song to start with. DOE Sports, thank you for the sub, by the way. Um, hey, man, I have two questions. How can I get better at hammer-ons and pull-offs? I am definitely the right guy for hammer-ons and pull-offs. And two, where can I find my picture from the meet and greet from New York this year? Okay, so the email that you registered with for the VIP should send it to you, and it should have sent it to you by now. If it hasn't, hit up the customer service thing on that, and if they haven't, 
they don't get back to you, get to me and I'll get to them because they should have been emailing everything out. It might take a minute because they have everyone's photos from the entire VIP from the whole tour, but I think this is a little bit long. They should have gotten New Year's already. So let me know after you email that customer support thing. DOE Sports. Okay, so first question, how can I get better at hammer-ons and pull-offs? Same as the rest. You can work metronome hammer-on pull-offs. Um, that's what's nice about tap tempo. You can hear like I'm kind of like singing the riff. You can hit the tap find the tempo you're looking for. So just find like a good easy tempo. Like I said, you don't even need to pick it. And what I'm doing with this hand is I'm just blocking the other strings to make sure I can focus on what I'm doing on the A string. And make sure every string is good at the hammer on. You can make a song out if you want to. And if you get good at these, you get good at tapping. It's only a Gojira song, doesn't it? And then, uh, all a hammer on is is a reverse pull off, so. All about the metronome. <laughs> That's what she said, mean dude. So just master it. Sit there, get it so it's easy. It does deal. It does. I'm I'm kind of hammering it pretty hard. I don't think you can hear it in the mic. I, I pick pretty hard. Can you hear that? Yeah, you can hear it. If you get on the rhythm strings, you can swap it over to the high stuff easily. It does sound like Gojira. This doesn't. This sounds too happy to be Gojira. Yeah, so it's like, it's that. It's getting that with the metronome. And I can't stress how important a metronome is because no matter how good you think your timing is, a metronome is always better than your timing. It just is going to be because the human body fatigues and has adrenaline. I remember there have been times where we played without a metronome live and I think we're going slow but we're not so that's another reason why it's good to play a metronome but there are some bands that shouldn't be to a metronome um, Maiden shouldn't be a to a metronome because they've got although they're like a really tight metal band they also kind of have this like punk and rock and roll feel to it so it's important that they don't have it and I don't like metronomes for acoustic covers but I like metronome for trivium shows so it's it's all about finding out where the, the timing is right what's nice about hammers on hammer on pull-offs you can also do things like um this is also like pull-offs. You can just make stuff up, so... I'm sure we've done this in some trivia song somewhere. I'm just blocking all the other strings, so if my other hand gets a little sloppy and taps the other ones, it doesn't matter. Or... And I use this, there's this cool exercise I made up that I've never used in a Trivium song, I'd like to someday, but it uses a lot of hammer-ons. Um... I don't know what it is. I made it up. I played it for John Petrucci once. He thought it was cool. It's the story of that riff. <laughs> I'll use it someday. <laughs> but yeah, so it's it's uh it's weird. But yeah, I like to make stuff up. How many times do you have to re-record -rec uh, the intro to Scylla? What, how does that go again? Oh, that's Crusade. How does that song go? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Do you do any ear training? Are you past the point where you need to do it? Uh, you're never past the point of needing to do anything. Um, seems like the sort of thing when you reach a point, you just get it. I remember Hetfield on the Flamingo Riff on the Death Magnetic documentary. Haven't seen that doc. Uh, there is... The way I like to practice, 
let's say for vocals, for example, and I'll figure out a guitar uh, guitar comparison as well. For vocals, I know I will never be as good as Freddie Mercury, Ronnie James Dio, or Bruce Dickinson, but every day I work to be as good as them, or I work to be better than them, knowing it won't happen. Same thing with guitar. I work daily to be as good as Jason Becker, Malmsteen, Petrucci, Jeff Loomis. I know it'll never happen, but I work towards that. So that should be your goal as well in everything that you do. Everything that you do in life, that's that's the way I like to approach everything. I know I'll never be as good as Jiu-Jitsu guy as Eddie Cummings, but I'm going to work on becoming as good as him. Or I know I'll never be as good of a gamer as Shroud, but I'm going to work to become as good as a gamer as Shroud. Those kinds of things. I like to set really... I like to work towards perfection, but I know perfection is not possible. That's a, that's a good little concept in life that I like to have. Cylon Charybdis. Is that... No, that's into the mouth of Howie Martin. Let go my bagel. Thank you very much, man. Enjoy this song or hate it off stream. Too long. I can't check the link right now. I will soon though. Tightly wound. Thank you for the resub. Did I miss any other subs? Let's look up that song real quick. I can't believe I can't fucking remember it. I'm sorry. Sometimes when my brain is in like one mode. Okay. That one? That one's uh, just like applying rhythm technique. To a lead. And sometimes you have to play a little bit, little bit lighter. But I make sure, I, I really pick with authority on this hand, and I make sure I'm blocking other strings as well, because if you're, if you're kind of up, you'll have other strings ringing out, so I really mute the hell out of these bottom strings. And I have this thing with my pinky, and that's why my pinky's so grown weird. See how it's like super sideways? That's not from jujitsu. that's actually from constantly cradling the high E. I hook it like, like this, like a velociraptor finger. It's a little hard to do on that riff. But it kind of comes in and out of hooking it, if you can, I can't quite see the pinky, but yeah, it like hooks, still hooks, still lightly hooks, and I pop it off here, so it goes back and forth. You can also do things like, if it's a little bit hard on the higher strings, really important that kind of riff to practice your metronome. Dio Brando 42, thank you for the sub. All right, questions, questions. <laughs> I just pre-aimed that. You prefer the seven string? Should you master six before going to seven? Yes, you should master six before going to seven. Absolutely. Um, do I prefer it? I'm tied. I'm tied. And I really want to own an eight string and I don't own an eight string. But I am tied for preference of six and seven. Eight will probably never be allowed in a trivium. Paulo says they sound like tubas, and he rolls his eyes about them, so it won't be in there. Kiko is one of my favorite guitar players in the universe. His work on the anger record about the Crusades. Temple of Shadows is one of my favorite records. Nashi Nash, thank you for this. Thank you for the sub. Sorry about that. Three months all the way from Sweden. Taksumiket Nashi. Taksumiket. I play the riff just wondering how many times it took to get the three layers of the riff to sound tight. Probably a bit. Everything takes takes a while. Like the new record, the reason why the recording went so quickly is because we rehearsed it so damn much, like a ridiculous amount. Um, ridiculous amount. There's actually a third harmony, I believe, in Scylla. It's like up there, but you need 24 frets for it. Would you consider the six string mastered? Surely it's never mastered. Ah, no, no, you. I don't think anyone ever masters the guitar. I truly don't. <laughs> I am Nashi. I'm trying to, man. Yo, out. All right, questions. Did I miss any questions? We release when you realize Shogun is 10 year old soon. Damn, that's crazy. Any approach writing vocals? I've tried relentlessly and I just can't get it to work. If I write riffs, I can't sing over them. And if I write lyrics, I always end up with sentences that don't really work in a song. Okay, um, this is a technique I've. 
to figure out how to approach that. When I write leads, I like to hear the riffs first and kind of sing out what needs to be there. What's up, Jason? Thank you for the resub. Jason, you're in Orlando too right now, right? We got to hang, man. We got to hang. I'm sorry. It's been busy. I've been playing nurse. Wife had her tonsils out, so it's been it's been a pretty intense recovery. But uh, so when I write leads, I like to hear the riff first. Like um, when Jared had me on his video for Shred Wars, I really listened to the rhythm parts first. I listened to the rhythm parts and kind of played around with a little bit. And I heard what would just make sense. You kind of like make little songs within it. So let's say that there's... Let's say there's an open riff, because I don't have a second guitar player with me. Let's say there's like an open riff. Let's say the riff was just... And it could be anything. Anything on top. That kind of idea where you just jam with it and you know what's in the key of it. So when it comes down to writing vocal parts, it's a different beast. You've got a chord progression. So what's important is when you're playing, if you play and sing, you gotta play something that you can sing at the same time and vice versa. Don't come up with words first. Come up with syllables, oohs, ahs, las, like, those because that's what I want with. Like that kind of shit. So you find the melodies that make sense first. What's up, Spoonerism? You find the melodies that make sense first and then you start to add. You add the words, the syllables, the words after that. It's more important to make the uh, the melodies first because people hear that melodies first. Exactly, Kaimon. Degenerate anything for the sub. So that's that's how you write solos. That's how you write vocals, in in my opinion. There's there's no right way. Um, when we did Vengeance Falls, that was something that David really opened our eyes to. He was like, write in syllables and nonsensical words first. Don't try to stick words in. Because when you do that, you're concentrating more on words and finishing the sentence and the phrase than you are just making a really great melody. So... That kind of shit. I was a little out of key because I can't really hear my guitar too well. But that's the idea. You you sing melodies over too, and you can do the same thing when you're writing solos. Like, that kind of thing. Don't need to sing it well. Sing it in head voice so it's nice and easy, so the notes don't matter. And that's how that's how I write a lot of my solos. Um, I hear the melody first, maybe in my head, or I kind of find out on guitar. And then see that note didn't really sound good. So let me skip that note. That kind of thing, you know? Yeah, so that's that's how you do it. It it can be non non word syllabic bullshit. As long as the melodies are cool, that's what people are gonna gravitate towards first. Okay. Next. Luckily I warmed up first, but that was a little out of key. <laughs> but that's when you're writing, it doesn't matter. When you're writing, you're not normally writing in front of people online. So you, you just make shit up. And I don't know if all songs ever have been done that way, but that's that's a nice way to do it. Have you ever had a problem where you think you have a great riff and it ends up being too close to another song? Like you thought you had this awesome riff and it was, say, too familiar? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's only, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's 12 notes. 
there's bound to be some overlap. And there's only certain chord progressions that sound great. Uh, certain line stake, thank you for the sub. Um, so it's bound to happen. It's good to be objective. It's good to know what's going on. It's good to listen to other bands so you know. And if you make a riff that is, say, like Trivium 9. <laughs> And if someone were to tell me, hey, that kind of sounds like Enter Sandman, I'd have to be objective. And be like, yes, it does sound like Enter Sandman and not use it. Uh, Sparta073, thanks for the sub. So this, you got to be objective. And so the bands that like don't listen to other bands out of, I don't know, just not wanting to or not thinking they're any good bands now, those are the ones that usually run into problems with writing a riff that sounds like everyone else. You know, water time. Uh, what else you guys got? What time is it? This is fun. 340. Yeah, I've gotten lazy, Skittle. I need to get rid of this thing. Dirt stash. Questions. Oh, now we're getting a vocal clinic. This ain't a vocal clinic. Sparta. Uh, screaming pattern. Same thing. Um, when uh, actually, I remember this. When when we did flies. Let me switch guitars. Drop D time. You know you're getting old when you do things and you make sounds when you do them. Like I just picked up my guitar, I was like, ah, you know you're getting old. I'm not actually old though. All right, so like, uh, in tune, thanks Evertune. <laughs> All right, so the way Flies is written is pretty interesting. I came with a lot of the riffs at home. Like, That one, I think I came up with that one. I know for the chorus, Corey came up with. Then we were in the practice place. First, we jam out instrumentally. So when I heard him playing that chord progression, I was like. So you kind of, just like I was talking about how you write, you you figure out things that just sound nicely together. So, damn right it is meme, dude. So when we were playing the, I had no vocals written. I just started yelling out nonsensical things that matched. But because I play guitar, I need to write within that. That 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 the beat ah beat the red bulls, you know, that kind of thing. So I started writing into the patterns that made sense. Sorry, I keep pulling this. I, the sprain is really killing me. Um, I should probably quit jujitsu, but I won't. Is that light blasting you? Or do I look heavenly? But that's the same kind of writing. You you just jam, and a lot of the stuff that's written off a of sentence was just nonsensical screaming. Then eventually, I found words that kind of fell into place, and my favorite records we've ever written were all written like that. Ascendancy and Waves and Sin were written a lot where us playing things, we had a couple words on paper or a lot of words on paper and we're just making shit up on the spot. And that's one of the best ways to write. Tattoo bright. All right. You get to see my geeky basketball shorts as I close these. There. All right. Yeah, so writing... It's a big misconception. I think even with us, I used to think I had to put in the final words, final sentences, final grammatical, all that shit when you're making it. It's too hard to do that. It's more important to just make things that make sense and melodies that make sense and words that, don't worry about the words, but like melodies and patterns within the music first and then add the stuff in after. And that's how, I didn't really learn that for a while but we were doing that and didn't really realize it. And we kind of go back and forth where I try to cram in a bunch of words during writing guitar parts and made it difficult. How much harder in your opinion is making a riff with a single note, heavy riffs compared to chord, heavy riffs. And when you feel like you have to always gravitate towards one or the other, how do you find the balance? Just don't think about it. Don't, don't think about it. And, um, look at it in waves. It's one of the heaviest riffs we've ever had ever. And it's essentially two notes because this is a bend. <laughs> I guess it's three notes. I guess it's three notes, but it's on one string. And then we've had things that are not as heavy on multiple strings. But then there's freaking sever the hand.
one string. One string on that part, and then it's all the strings on that. I love that riff. If I knew the middle section, I could show you the whole song, but I don't I don't remember the middle section. It's a little it's a little bleedy. I'll, I'll, it's a little bleedy, but we'll leave that between us, Killian. Are there any trivium songs that you might recommend for learning downstrokes, hammer-ons, pull-offs, and alternate picking? Yes. Down picking flies. Flies is gonna be a great one for you. <laughs> Listen up. This next part is not down picking. This part's. But that falls in your next question about hammer ons and pull offs. Sorry, I've got delay and verb on. So down, up. So I actually don't pick that when it comes back down. So down, up, up. Down, up, down, up. So that part's pretty strange, and it's cool that it came out. Sometimes you just end up writing weird things. Um, so that's definitely the way I would go for a downstroke song, hammer-ons and pull-offs. Alternate picking, I would do that. Uh, I would do a sentency. This riff. Play this in years. That kind of thing. What do you think the easiest tripping song is to play guitar? Do you agree with people saying "Die in Your Arms"? Could possibly be that song. Um. Rhythm guitar, yeah, that'd be that'd be one of the easiest. Is your room acoustically insulated? No, not even kind of. I wish. Uh, Revelation says his sub, uh, Sean's son. Thank you for the sub. Revelation, where's yours? Did I miss it or did it just not go through? Jason Paradise, thank you so much for that resub. I think I might already said, but I did, I'm not sure. Keechi loved. Dio Brando, if I miss anyone, let me know. Thanks, Sean's. Um,. The person that was asking that, I did see their name though, and here, Revelation, yeah, you've got the thing, so if Nightbot missed it, thank you for the sub, um, Revelation. All right, did I just hear Brando? Yes, you did. Becoming bass solo was though, so yes, more bass solos. I agree. Going to the studio for the first time as a vocalist in one month. Yes, practice all the time. If it's in a month, I hope you've been practicing because that's going to come up quick. Uh, so you'll also need to make sure like getting closer to the studio that you don't burn yourself out. So I don't know what your practice regimen is, but practice a lot. Make sure you've got everything hopefully memorized pretty well. And put in your work beforehand. I hope you've been putting in your work. So I'm really curious. Do hammer-ons and pull-offs sound different than strumming? How do you mean? Sound different than strumming? Heck yes, deformance. Um, what do you mean? Yeah, clarify. In with like within strumming, um, that kind of thing. Clarify and I'll, I'll get you taken care of. How many guitars are they insured? Yes. I mean, guitars are, I don't own that many guitars. I had to sell a lot of guitars back on the Shogun days when times were tough. So I had to sell a lot of my Deans to pay the mortgage, which sucked. And then had to leave that house. And yeah, that sucked. So we all have ups and downs. Lost a lot of guitars. What do you think would be easiest to learn first, piano or guitar? I never learned piano. I wish I learned piano. Me being a guitar player, I'd say go ahead and learn guitar first. Let me stream so far. Thanks, Heats. 
Yeah. Yeah, piano's definitely going to be harder, so maybe that one first, but whatever you learn first, it's going to take away time from the other thing. Yes, they do sirloin. Piano's easier? I don't know about that, but maybe. Ah, he can play a song. That's actually going to theme song. Like if I were to strum the hammer on, oh, okay, does it sound much different than if I were to play it the correct way, which is the hammer on? Not sure, because the way I play it... You mean picking every single note? I mean, it'll sound tighter. But see how it kind of changes the vibe? I mean, it sounds tight, but it kind of slows it down. So it's really personal preference. If you're writing it, it, it can be either. Little Turtle Boy, thank you for the sub. Yeah, picking every single note. Yeah, it sounds tighter that way. Or... Sort of weird sound. Um, oh man, I know I personally suck at playing the edge of the configuration middle thing. That thing's tricky. Um, we can go over that. I suck at it too, so I should probably fax it right now. Sorry if I just give you a loud pop. It's my first one of these. Uh, where's my six string? Okay. Yeah, I fuck this thing up live sometimes too, but when I'm sitting, I can play it really well. So, I'm gonna have to figure it out real quick. Yeah. One second. Haven't played that in a while. That riff, I kind of wish I lightly muted it. So it'd sound better. But so what that is, it's just the same repeating pattern. Which is... 0, 8, 11, 10. And then... That's all it is. It's the same pattern. It neglects key. And yeah. It does, Killian. Yeah, I actually got pretty inspired on that riff from Van Caffernome. The other band that I'm in. I guess I'm still in, but it doesn't make music. But Jason Sukoff, the super tech death metal thing. It's uh, 0, 8 on the low E and 10 on the A. Kent, thank you for the sub. So it's E string, 0, 8, 11. A string, 10. And then 12, 11, 12, 11, 8, 7, 7. Six. I'm just calling the bass notes the same thing. Yeah, that, that album's got some techie shit. It's always been a long time since I played that one. I gotta work on that. <sighs> Beneath the Sun. Damn, I, I do not remember how to play that one. I don't have a guitar in that tuning either, so <laughs> I don't remember. First two in the same string. Exactly. Last one on the string beneath. Height. Deformance. Yeah, the, the way to learn that one, go nice and slow. What's weird is it's such drastic time changes. Or feel changes. There it is. It's weird. It is weird. I was into making really strange riffs. 
Questions? Tread the floods. That's a Corey riff. Corey riffs are fucking weird. Um, I have to figure out. Nope. I gotta. F- I don't remember that part. I remember this part though. Fucking Koi riffs. That riff, fuck. at least once or twice an album, as I record all the rhythm guitar parts on our records for just making it sound consistent and tight, at least one to two times every record, Corey makes a riff that just stumps the living shit out of me. Especially, what was it? Was it Callisto? The verse? I don't even remember how to play that song. I'll have to relearn that one. Diminished Patterns. Yeah, it's the... Uh... <laughs> He might downpick the whole thing. Maybe not. I like to do that cupped hand thing like I was talking about to keep that attack a little harder. I gotta work on that one. <laughs> we do. Scream riff. Can you play the Callisto? I don't remember what riff that is. The uh That one? <laughs> when you learn a song of yours that you haven't played in ages, like say Tread, do you guys have access to the masters? I just listen to Spotify or actually even look up guitar tabs that other people have tabbed. And sometimes they're right and sometimes they're not. It'll jog the memory of what they were. Uh, that part. Let me, let's do this exactly right now. Like you guys are just asking. Let's let's check it out. Where is that song? That's not that song. Hold on. So Callisto. It's in the middle. That part? Which riff? Ah, pre chorus. I'm gonna have to refigure that. Hold on. This is the song that fucked me up on this record. Let's see if we can figure it out. Let's remember different things. I guess it is. That one? Yeah, it's just down picking, and this part's the weird part. You could go here, but Corey went. The riff that really fucked me up, I think, was the um, the verse. I don't remember though. <laughs> Let's talk about some new record shit because I, I remember those better. Oh, that sucks. Walmart pizza. They shouldn't do that. Six eighteen. Oh man, I'm not gonna remember how to play anything in that song. We've only ever played it on the record. We should do it someday. Any questions on techniques or other other songs or anything like that? Trivia mass tracks online. I don't know. 
don't know. It's a good question. Questions, comments. <laughs> To the rats, yes. It's a Apollo song, by the way. So that's a Apollo riffs right there. I don't know how to play Spit Out the Bone. But yeah, um, every one of us writes very, very differently. Can you do the bridge to Beyond Oblivion? Yeah, let's try that. Uh, let's switch guitars. I might fuck up. That shit is hard. And what's funny, you know, I was talking about the really difficult Corey riffs, Corey riffs being the hardest. Corey riff always trips me up. That's a Corey riff that tripped me up. It's a good ear. Um, bridge section. I have to relearn. I haven't played this one yet. Let me listen to it real quick. Let me listen to it. I might fuck it up. Thanks, Spotify. That's what I'm using to find our stuff. But yeah, that was probably the hardest riff for me on this record, that rhythm guitar part. And then actually getting the Betrayer uh, tremolo shit super tight was one of the hardest things for me. Which was confusing because I, I'm normally a really good tremolo player. Because I play a lot of black metal stuff. So let's listen to Beyond. <laughs> play with it so I can figure it out. I guess I could be doing desktop audio, but... I might fuck this up, I gotta figure it out first. So it's... That's the one. So speed. Shit. So there it is. Tricky riff. Thanks, Corey. Can you walk us to the beginning of Down from the Sky? Did not know he had an epic song there. Um, that's Apollo, Apollo song, or mostly Apollo song. Let me switch to seven string for the new album. Um, well, we've done it in the past. We did it in the Crusade and decided to just bring back everything that is us. Why did you change the chorus of wretchedness? Really tearing it seems. It just felt right. It felt right to rewrite it to where it became. Um, and I think... It was like a group effort. We're all together and jammed out and figured that thing out. Um, someone asked for Dusk. Remind me on Dusk when I go back to the D guitar. We're on seven strings. Is there any seven string stuff you want to see real quick? Beauty and the Sorrows on a six string. Drop D. Favorite lead on the new album. Probably my, maybe my Wretchedness solo, but I don't remember how to play it. I have to relearn how to play it. It's got like cool tapping and shit in it. 
you still got the solo pulling me from the void. No, I don't even remember how to play the rhythm guitar part of that song. Betrayer. All right, what about Betrayer? Um, Betrayer is a lot of alternate picking, um, black metal style picking, as I like to call it. So for, I cannot tell you who we wrote that song for. Um, I'll tell you in person, but you got to keep it quiet. So Betrayer, it's all about tremolo picking. And the way you get good at tremolo picking is just like what I said in the beginning. It's a metronome. Sitting there with a the metronome. Let's see. Da -da 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 Oops. I hit that thing too hard. Nope, too fast. Let me get to a tempo. Too slow. So you gotta find a tempo that you can kind of get down. A sin away, thank you for the sub. James Rock, thank you for the subs. So find a, te find a tempo that's good, and then just start. I mean, tremolo picking won't always be perfect, and I thought it had to be, and I actually got to talk to Ishan from Emperor about it, and he said it's kind of about the imperfections, too. Like, when you think of Ye and Transipurium by Emperor, if you guys don't know this song, get Anthems of the Walk at the Dusk as soon as the stream's over. Um, intro's really cool. It's this... Now you can see it's got these notes ringing out with this happening. So I used to think it had to be mechanically precise, but he told me it is about the imperfection and this kind of this like punk attitude brought into metal, which is really cool to hear that from the guy that came up with it. Cause I would have assumed it was supposed to be mechanically precise cause it sounds like that to me. Um, but when we made Betrayer, made the record, we wanted to bring in that mechanical precision to the record and live allow it to be kind of have that punk rock ebb and flow. So you find a tempo that's good, you get tremolo picking. Tremolo picking, I kind of get this weird Velociraptor claw, is it, is it in here? It's like this. You'll see it happen live a lot. Like it actually lifts from here. I don't know how I'm lifting, you can tell. It's kind of like this. But it's, it looks like it is really tense, but it has to be kind of light too. The pivot point is from the from the wrist, and it's like this. So it's like alternate picking up solos. Uh, it's a little faster. Now. So betrayer. And something that is important. It is good. I add a little down downbeat emphasis, which I learned from Petrucci on, I think I might learn it in rock discipline, maybe I learned it in person, where he adds an emphasis on the beginning of the notes. So instead of just going like, this, I don't know if you can hear that attack difference, but, or, so I like to do that same thing with tremolo. Uh, middle section is really fun. Um, Raptor Claw longer goes and even me I do feel a little bit of like the fatigue wear in but you just keep rocking it live I'm sure it gets a little bit in and out um but yeah that's that's from black metal for me not, not other not another genre Jason Paradise huge difference there with the extra attack absolutely yeah the, the attack is really important you could do that in everything um so it's it's a good good thing 
Cafernome, yeah, that was the tech death band I was in with Jason Sukoff, Daniel Mongrain from Martyr. Really, really cool. We only did one record together. Super fast down picking like Emerton Inferno. Yes, metronome. Metronome. So. Da, 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 I used to just sit there in like high school, set up fast tempo. It's hard to sit on one. You kind of give yourself breaks if you can court. And I, I actually noticed even just now, like I'll kind of anchor in different spots of between the guitar and my body to alleviate some of the pressure and the fatigue. So I was noticing I was going between actually angling on the body to give myself a body, the guitar to give myself a break and letting it go and angling against myself. See, I'm angling the guitar now. I'm not. Thanks, Dio. Yeah, if there's one thing I'm good at, it's rhythm guitar playing. <laughs> I'm glad you guys get to see me winning on guitar and not losing on PUBG like usual. So this is the one thing. I definitely, when people talk about guitar playing, that's the one thing I will be confident in is my rhythm guitar playing. Um, memes, I would get a, a cube or some kind of cool combo, PB combo, Mind 6 combo. ASMR. Vocal training. Find the best local vocal teacher and take lessons. That's the way. Endless Night is going to be a single. It's the next single. Um, I think it's, it'll be beyond and endless together. Any more comments, questions? Maybe we'll do just a couple more minutes and then uh, that might be it for today's clinic. Hopefully there's some gaming next. I'm going to find out in a minute. I want to play CSGO, man. I think I kind of am liking that more than PUBG right now. Do you use foot pedals? Yes, I'm using one right now. You can get any cheap one off Amazon. Mine is on stage stands, I guess. And I use a DW drum throne. That's what I'm sitting in. Develo87, thanks for the sub. Well, CSGO or PUBG is the question. All right, well, let's, let's talk more guitar first. Make a songbook. Oh man, I, I'm not the right guy to teach vocals. I can only say to find the best teacher. My teacher's Ron Anderson. Um, he's pricey, but if you can learn from him, he's the best. But it's like a life commitment to learning his stuff, in my opinion. Um, Skittle time. Not sure. Well, I mean, there's obviously the demand is there. This is a, definitely a good, good stream. People seem to be happy with it. So we'll do more. This is like my... Did it just cut out? Is, is it okay? <laughs> nice typing. Still there, I meant. Okay, I, it looked like it froze. I'm watching the, the stream itself. Okay, well, we're back. Um, more questions? Guitar questions? I think we should uh, maybe get two more guitar technique questions, then we'll split. Did I play LOL? It was LOL or Dota 2. It was LOL once, and then... Um, Everyone was really mean. <laughs> awesome, Dio. Yeah, it's all about finding a good, good expert. For me, I always push people towards Ron Anderson because he's the one that saved me. And uh, effects pedal, would you recommend for the new album-based sound? Well, we don't use effects pedals live. I use everything on the Kemper. Um, but on the record, I used MXR Phase. Dunlop, MXR is owned by Dunlop. Just I use all Dunlop stuff when I use pedals, but I don't use pedals live. I think I probably use the Eddie Van Halen or the classic Phase 90. And as far as a wah at home, I've got the Petrucci and some limited edition custom thing. Record, I think we either use the Dimebag or the Kirk Hammett. Yeah, that's what I hear, Killian. I wonder if we can hit 600 viewers. Can you guys help me hit 600? before the last like two questions are done for guitar stuff. I don't know if you guys can help me with that. Let's, we need six more people. Can you guys get six more people in here? That'd be really cool. And then if we can get six more people, I will absolutely do more of these. 
Any tips on sweeping? Okay, we were talking about sweeping a little bit earlier, but we could talk about it again. Um, why don't you make an optional Evertune version? It's it's pricey. It's it's pricey. Um, so if you want an Evertune, I recommend you hitting them up and getting one of their dealers and one of their installer people to get it right. So we need seven more viewers now. Seven more. Okay, so sweeping. Sweeping is just like I was talking about with the guitar playing. Finding a nice good tempo. It's at 92. Finding a sweet form. Nice and slow first. Ah, dropped in views. And went back up. So finding a nice slow tempo, getting it nice and tight. Sweeping's weird, it gets kind of hard at slower tempos. Ah, it keeps going down, it's all good. This is still a lot. So then slowly building up. But sweeping is more about a light picking. Um, up, hammer, up, down, 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 hammer. Like that. So that's sweeping. So slow, build your way up. And now I don't, Ronald. Someday, hopefully. Yeah, you got to practice daily. You have to. There's, there's no question. Same with vocals. You can't just do vocals before a record. Nitrom 83, thank you for sub. That's what I used to do though. I used to only sing when it was time to go on tour. Like I'd start practicing a month before or a week before, but now it's just all the freaking time. How do you determine which effects to use in a solo? Do you guys just kind of trial and error it? At first it was trial and error, and we'd have like producers give ideas or pedals and stuff and, and their idea. But after a while, like after the years we've been making records, you start to know what's right. So when it's something like really fast and shreddy, you know to not use a wah. And if it's something big and open, you know to use a wah. I think one of the sounds I've kind of incorporated into my sound is I like to have a phase on everything. I like to always have a phase. Just a light phase, not, not rhythm, but on most of my lead stuff. And even when I have a wah, I will use a phase too, which I know is redundant, but I like that texture. And I actually learned that from Mike Amati back in 2005 when he brought us Japan. So even on things like when it's kind of shreddier, Adds a nice little texture. That kind of shit. Right. I think it sounds going sweeping too, so it's not as like a stagnant tone. Yeah. I like it with the wah as well. Even in stuff like. It just adds a little bit of motion to it, which is cool. Yeah, a little bit of phase. It, it's not like, not like this kind. Just subtle, like slow movement. KSE songs. I don't. I don't. Um. Yeah. So maybe we'll take one more question. We'll go for three more minutes. Um. Let me check something, and then maybe we'll do some gaming. Kins Bane. Did I ever say thanks for the sub? Thanks for the sub. How many guitar tracks do you learn a song? Um. It really personal preference. There's no right or wrong. With Sin, it's actually only one and one, I believe. One rhythm, one rhythm. And maybe two more pop up on some certain parts. Ascendancy, it's two and two. And Waves, it's two and two. Shogun, it's one and one, but with three amps and three cabs per signal, which I like either straight two and two or one and one. And what that usually is, it's like I play my parts on this side and I play Corey's parts on this side. My parts, Corey parts. And that's that's the layer. Yeah, reverb delay is good. Um, you could throw in some phase if you want, and then phase and delay, a phase and wah is really cool together. Did I say that? Reverb delay, phase wah. That's essentially what I have in mind. Play something acoustic. I'm not that good of acoustic, but you should check out my YouTube stuff. That's where I've got some acoustic. Uh, thrown into fire solo. I don't think I have a solo. Oh, I do have a solo in that song. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah. Um, I don't have my wah pedal hooked up, but let me figure it out. So that's, um, 
Man. We're playing this all tour, why can't I remember it? There it is. And usually there's a wah, and you can tell my solos are very pattern based and very like I like to have a theme in my solos. Pinch harmonic. So that will be the final question of the thingy. Yeah, I like to to form a note. It's a good point. I do hit extra strings at that on purpose. <laughs> yeah, I'm Herman Lee's cousin. I cut I cut my hair. Um, yeah, so I'm actually picking the D and G as well to get that extra attitude into it oh, pinch harmonics okay pinch harmonics are done with it's hitting the string in between the fat of your thumb and that so it's it's a simultaneous hitting of the string with your pick and the fat of your finger. It's a little bit interesting, it's a little bit strange, but it takes it takes a minute to kind of get that thing going, but it's it's effective. I guess we use it every once in a while. And uh, yeah, I dig it, I dig it. Good to meet you too, by the way, Fern. Thanks for coming in today, man. Um, yeah. Dude, he's he's so good, isn't he? He needs to. He's gonna start doing more playthroughs and stuff on um on YouTube. And he's he's so good. He's so good. Heck yeah, man. Thanks for thanks for popping in. Appreciate that, man. Um could go to 4 30. I'm having a good time. Jad, I have not yet. Can you tweet them to me? I don't know if the other guys are gonna do it, man. The other guys don't really game too much, and I do game, so that was kind of the way to get into it. Picks, Jazz Threes. They've got, uh, you have to form a sorry, Mr. Question earlier. Um, they've got red and black. Color doesn't make a difference. I like all of them. I need Alex with the freaking, uh, the fro. Um, questions? Last question, we'll do one more. One more. I'm not the best tapper. I like to make it a little different. I just kind of... What always sounds cool is uh, tapping on the same spot. Happy guy. You did get me. Thanks. Yeah, I like I like to do things just a little bit, a little bit different. It's like uh, tapping is cool. Like low, I like to do low tap. I kind of 
kind of stuff, or I like to do sweet picking. I haven't done it in Trivium, but in places it doesn't belong, like lower strings. I'm not sure how clean that sounded, but or like. Like weird places. I like to do things weird whenever I can. Um, any suggestion for the pinky finger from Lockheed when trying to play notes? Not quite. And interestingly enough, I broke this when I was like 16. So I bring my pinky up too far for guitar playing. Like it shouldn't come up as far as it does. But if you ever notice, like, I guess you can't really see it from this angle. See how much higher it comes up? I broke it so it does more work you just gotta add in more time um and posture is really important I'd always make sure you're sitting up straight there's nothing weirdly angled that you're not slouching that your arms are not out to here you want everything to be pretty economical so if you play for like five hours you're not going to be in horrific pain form is really important that's why I've got the drum throne classical footstool and I practice sitting upright I wish. I wish to bellow. All right. But I guess maybe we'll do these like once a month or something or once every other week or something. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, and then this thing's fucking sprained right now, which really sucks. Yeah, but it perks the job. Do you play drums or use a drum machine for arrangements? When we don't necessarily have Alex at our disposal, we will like make some like preset drum parts initially just to get the vibe of it because we need to hear drums, but we get it to him, he comes up with his parts, that kind of thing. I'd rather always play to a real drummer. If we can hit 600, that'd be really cool, man. That'd be cool. I'm going get to get closer to those shroud numbers. I'm so far from that. Um, we can call it, uh, never mind, I'm not going to say anything offensive I was going to. Um, six more. So, may as well go to 4.30. We have four more minutes. I mean, one more, right? <laughs> I should probably run that update right now too, right? Fuck, it's probably like a big download. 36,000. Fuck. Good Lord. Ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Well, at least he gives me something to aspire towards, you know? He's this, He's my... Metallica streamer. That'd be a cool raid right now, but he probably has sub only chat on too. 13 gigabits. Fuck. Well, I don't want to slow this thing down. With three, if we get three more, we have 600 and that's freaking awesome. And I need someone to take a screenshot of that, please. Always does sub only chat. Holy shit. We hit it. Fucking broke it. Thank you guys. It's higher than a trivium show stream. Um, all right, I better run that update. I hope it doesn't kill the stream. So we so we can't we can't raid um we can't raid Stroud right now, can we? Now for the PUBG thing, is it a fully different Is it a different game download or no? Sorry, I'm gonna start losing you that we're getting off guitar. Ooh. We can't raid Shroud. Damn. Wanted to. This is the Matt Hafey online course, man. Um, all right, sorry, I need to get back to guitar before you guys are like, what the fuck's he talking about? Oh, I see the download. Okay, it's just under the original one. Oh, it is it is slowing the connection down. I should pause that. How do you, how do you pause that? I don't want to F it up. Okay. Stream shoot back in a second. That Ibanez back there, that is a corn Ibanez that the whole band signed and, uh, they gave to me on stage, which is really cool. Cause each one of those dudes has one of my guitars. Um, monkey JD and head, they all have it. All right. Um, we have one minute for one more question. 
We're gonna go to AFK for maybe five minutes and I'm gonna figure out and I'll let you know within those five minutes if we're gonna do some gaming. I really wanna play PUBG, but it's it's gotta it's gotta update, so shit. Matt, do you have any tips on how to train my picking hand to use my wrist more? If I want to pick alt pick faster and using my arm and it locks up. Um I remember when I used to take saxophone lessons when I was a kid, the teacher used to tell me to actually shake my hands out and exactly where they're left, like this, place on the instrument. That's more of like a saxophone trick, but when you feel that locking up, it's important to shake everything out, stretch a little bit sometimes, for real, like stretching before playing is good, or like if you did yoga throughout the day, that kind of thing. What's the deformist question? Yeah, actually, that'll do the opposite, Grafico. That'll tighten it up too much. You didn't get the notification, Jody? Shit. Sorry, dude. Sucks. Well, there'll, there'll be more. There'll be more. There Was it no notification through Twitch? That sucks. Did anyone else not get the notification? Did y'all get the notification? All right, um, Deformis, you have one more question? That'll be the last question. <laughs> really? What the fuck's that? Did it tweet the thing? Hmm, that sucks. But it seems like most people got the, uh, they knew. Maybe it's because I told it. Was it, is it big as I mentioned the time? Is that why? It did tweet it. <laughs> I'll definitely see deformance. I'll definitely see. Do we have a day off there? And let's see if Facebook messaged it. Facebook did too. So maybe, unfortunately, Twitch just missed that. Um, I've got the update loading it is fucking up the signal. Yeah, make sure everybody who's in here right now, you got your notifications on for my channel. Um, thank you all for subbing. This has been awesome. I had a lot of fun. We will do more of these. We'll definitely do more of these. I really enjoyed this. I wish I was qualified to teach you singing, but I'm not. I can only kind of share insight. Um, Matt, yes, this lot was your most favorite. I mean, Metallica got me into metal, but the amount of bands we like and are inspired by is pretty countless. And that's what's important. It's important to listen to everything and be absorbing everything at all times. Okay, guys. Um, so what we're going to do now, the clinic's over. I'm going to turn the chat back on for everyone. And I need two minutes. Let me figure out if I can game. If we can, it'd be cool to do PUBG. Um, but it's got to download. So maybe we could do CSGO in the meantime, but I think I'm going to clog up the internet. I hope the signal's not really fucked up right now. Sub button's not showing up. I see the sub badges though, Aiden. So let me put the chat back on for everyone right now. So Shroud always has only sub in chat. It's really interesting. It's insane that he has that many freaking people. Nuts, man. It's awesome. All right, thank you guys. So this PUBG download is gonna take a minute. It's only a 20%, fuck. It's just 13 minutes. That's, that's not horrible. <laughs> I gotta see if the dog's good, gotta see if there's any chores I gotta do. I do all that shit. It did, silent, it did. All right, guys, um, I'm gonna put this on the AFK. That sucks about the sub button. Yeah, it'll be fixed soon. If it's if it's extra messed up, we'll let meme dude know. You should fix it. All right, guys. So stay tuned. Um, give me like three to five minutes. I'll let you know what's up. I'll let you know if we're gaming. I hope we're gaming. This says 11 minutes for PUBG. I mean, I should probably play PUBG today, right? Heck yeah, guys. All right. So we will see you in like three to five, and I will tell you whether gaming or not. It's three to five. So try to not leave. All right, I'll see you in a sec.
All right, all right, all right, all right. Yo. So we were going to play a little bit. This still has... Oh, it's only six minutes, so I guess I may as well just wait. Right? I can see people have dropped off. Justifiable, though. Justifiable. All right. Um, the quality still looks good. I really want to play CSGO, though. I really want to play that. But I think if I'm downloading this and streaming and playing a different game, it's going to get clogged up and freak out. Yeah, it's already like red internet connection, which is never good. Yeah, it says five minutes. Is this, is it very different, the new one? Um, let me, let's hit up Joe Bad, see if he wants to play. Text him. Yeah, it'll, yeah, you're right. Strandberg. I don't think it's, what's a Strandberg? Hey, what's up, friend from Taiwan? Um, sub only is off, right? Yeah, it's off. Okay, it says five minutes, 35 seconds. Atheist, yeah, they're really good. Really, really, really good. One of the bands that influenced death. What's this uh, Sonic Studio app? That thing keeps auto-opening. Four minutes, 58 seconds. Thanks, Kaimon. My finger fucking hurts again, man. Thanks, Jujitsu. So I guess uh, anyone who missed that thing, it's going to be in the past broadcasts, right? I was thinking about making that, eh, I guess I may as well uh, make it something that everyone can see, right? Yeah, I may as well make it. You guys can see it. I guess the nice thing about it is that... Uh, Live is more fun, something. Should that be Trivium Live or Life? Now I'll make a new collection. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. There's a new collection. So if you missed it, it's on the past broadcasts. Slow Jam, thanks for the sub. Z Cetus, thank you for the sub. I'm back. It's three minutes and 30 seconds. Oy. Damn, didn't hear back from Joe. So hoping he could play, carry me. I know, I, I, I want to play CSGO too. I kind of want to play CSGO more than I want to play pub. Did Houston beat New York? Unfortunately, it didn't. I'm sorry. New York was first place, but there's always next tour. It says he's idle. Shoot. I never got to see Death Live, but we did play a benefit show for him at the Fairbanks Inn in Orlando. Is this quality stream? Is the stream quality kind of down? It might be due to me downloading this update at the same time. Um, OSM, just lots of practice. It's all about practicing guitar and vocals separately, slowly building it up and bringing the two together. Oh, damn, I was hoping for Joe. Uh, do you guys want to see CSGO or PUBG? Ah, I suck, Kichuko, I suck. Um, they buddy tape the two fingers together and add some compression, but because of this sprain, I kind of feel it no matter what, and it sucks. It sucks. 
I, f I felt it during playing the clinic thing. I've gotten one in solos and one in duos. Nice. Capped. Thanks, man. Yeah, that's the thing about Trivium. It's like most press doesn't really acknowledge us, which is okay. I'm not complaining. Um, and other bands don't necessarily always do it either, but our fans do it the best. And I would rather have that. I would always rather have that because press don't buy records. But the people that did put it in, that's awesome. That's awesome that our friends did it. It looks pretty mixed between CSGO and Pub. Can we hold like a, a vote so I can actually see the real numbers? That's a lot of pubs. Maybe we'll do like 15, 20 minutes of Pub, 15, 20 minutes of CSGO. I think people might yell at me if I play COD. PC people don't seem to like COD. Fifty-five seconds. Here we go. Yes, yeah, sprains suck, man. How long does that take a sprain, especially a finger sprain? I'm assuming like four months. Ah, uh, it's mine's not the fry technique. Mine is rechambering the distortion into your nasal cavity instead of being in here. It took me years to get. Um, I highly recommend taking lessons from Ron Anderson. He's the guy that taught me how to do that. PUBG time. 15 seconds. So we're going to do a little pub. I'll probably get frustrated and switch to CSGO, which I don't get as frustrated. I think it's just less shit you have to do. Like, there's no looting. So you're not going to lose everything you just looted for, which is kind of nice. Sorry. I'm trying to get me centered. Centered? Is that centered? That is centered. Oh, it's ready. Oh, there's Joe. Let's see what Joe said. I think he's around. Let's see. Hey. Hello? Check, check, check. Are you there, buddy? It says voice connected. Hmm. I'm on the phone with Joe, but I can't hear the Joe. Up, oh, and he's gone. And it's gone. Uh, let's try that again. Joe. Yeah, Ron is the same guy. Help Matt. Oh, he's, he's uh, collecting some cash. So I will start this up. That was a lot. Oh, shit. Installing? How long does that take? Damn it. Well, I guess we're just chatting a little bit longer. Microsoft VC redist package. Was that it? Did it work? Hey. Wanna be California What's up, man? Nothing. I was just practicing my California girl cover. Sounded good. <laughs> Sounded good. How's, how, how's, how's everything today? Good. Very good. How about yourself? Good. We just had a very successful guitar clinic stream. It went very well. Oh, very cool. Yeah, lots, very lots of people popped in. I, uh, I just got my stream actually working now with this whole OBS thing. Oh, cool. So uh, when people follow me, it's Batman dancing. <laughs> oh, shit. That's awesome. It's so funny looking, too. I swear. Oh, my God. That's uh, awesome. Are you, 
are you currently streaming right now or are we just playing yeah yeah you, i've got your voice on live with the connection as well hello everybody <laughs> although the game is just on this loading screen right now it's been doing that a little bit today it's like everyone's like 1.0 is out let's go oh yeah yeah <laughs> wonder if i need to restart it Hmm. And how do you do that co-stream thing? I guess we'll do that later. I only, I probably have time. Um, Deformus and all. Deformus, how do you co-stream? Is the game audio good for everyone? Too loud, too quiet? Well, I've got it fucking cranking right now, damn. Um, are you online currently? In, um... Pub? In PUBG, I just double clicked it. Oh, that's weird. Oh, there you are. Oh, yeah, it's loading. Oh, yeah, shit. Oh, shit. Deformus, I have not. How do you do that? Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, Deformus. Did you have to do an NVIDIA update, Joe? Um, no. Okay. I don't think so. And you've, you've played the new thing? The new 1.0? Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Cool. Just waiting for once I see you on there, and then we will, we're will we good to go. Okay. Captain K's, thanks for the sub. Sir. <laughs> Servers are too busy. Jobed must reconnect. Oh, is that what it says? Yeah, it's. Oh, don't you do that. Don't you play with my heart right now. Uh oh. Oh, man. Oh, here you go. There he is. I don't see you on. There we are. You have to hit the uh, there res. There you are. Accept. There he is. Whoa, look at nice. you. Whoa, nice shirt, dude. Thanks, man. There's a little chicken dinner in there for someone. <laughs> I think um, you got one too. Oh really? Yeah, go check your uh, check your customization. Nope. I think it's be no. Nope. No. Nope. It's There's got my. No way. You have yeah. to. I think it's because when you um. No, I only have like regular man clothes. I'll put on my I'll put on my regular man outfit for you. Okay. Just look like a standard man. <laughs> nice big baggy pants. We're doing third person or first person? Ah, uh, your you. call. Your call. Ooh, my call. Let's do first person. It was kind of fun. All right, let me get my, the rest of my regular man outfit on. All right. Um, maybe I should start streaming, huh? Yeah, so absolutely. And then Deformus can help us out with the uh, the co-stream link. Okay. All right, you ready to ready to go? Yeah. You said I'm third not. person, right? Oh. Yeah, uh, um, third person or first person, whatever you want. You want. You, whatever you click, I'm gonna play. Let's do third. Into it. Impersonations, glit. I cannot, but Joe can. What's someone's that? asking. Someone's asking uh, if I could do impersonations. I can't, but you probably can. Ooh, I'm pretty good at some of them. Yeah, he is. What do you, what do you want to hear? What do you want to hear? <laughs> if there's footsteps, though, I gotta go quiet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. New map. All right. So, is this does this game run smoother or something? It does run a lot smoother. Plus, I had my my friend Stevie that you somewhat met yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had he he helped me set up everything so my frames are better. Um, oh, how do you do, how'd you do that? Um, on I OBS. Guess, no. Um. It's just like you have to right click, go to NVIDIA control panel. Oh and then, shit. Like there's like all this other stuff that he had me like switch up. So maybe uh maybe I can right, have him check to see if Yeah, that'd be cool. Something. Yeah, Deformance said he can help me out with that too. I'll definitely need yeah. your help on that. Um 100%. chat, is the game audio good? Too loud, too quiet? I've got a lot more room to go up if you need. My frames are so much better now, though. This is crazy. I've never set that thing up. Oh, there's the multi-stream link, link right there in my chat, if you want to grab it, Joe. Um, yes. Deform has do just posted it. My, do I have to click that from my computer? Um, actually, wait. No, you don't have to. Everyone else can see it, so people can go to that and watch both at the same time. Oh, so that's so if they want to watch us together. Yep, yep. 
so if you want to post that <laughs> so if you want to okay. post that we could post it where do you want to drop all right let's drop at a place that we can survive the first five minutes that'd be uh, nice <laughs> let's try um let's wait a little bit maybe go here sounds good that? yep all right let's go now let's jump When do you parachute if you want to go far? Um, I sorry, so I aim, I hold W and I aim with my right mouse, like kind of up at one twenty six kilometers, and yep. I just like that's as far as I go. And then you so let the all the way to the ground. And you let auto parachute. Auto parachute, and then like I kind of just tap W, so it kind of like does this little swingy motion. I kind of do it because it looks funny, but I think it helps too. <laughs> and that's once the parachute's up. Yeah. Okay. Someone just came in my stream said the audio is good, so thank you. I appreciate that. Nice, yeah. The voice voice sounds that. good. Thank you, man. Your voice sounds beautiful. Oh, thanks. Uh, I mean manly. Yeah, that's what we do. All right, parachuting down. And look how close you are to me. This is a successful drop. Uh, there's another team. There's a guy to your right and a guy to your left. All right, well. A guy to your front and a guy to your back. I'm going to find this weapon first. That was, oh, me. Oh. that was that was me. That was me. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I got the two pump shotgun with me. <laughs> two pump. <laughs> it's all you need. Hey, you right. You right. You right. Is There's a breaking glass again? No, not that time. Oh. There's a choke um on me for the shotgun. I do hear footsteps. I don't know if that's you or not. I don't have shit right oh, now. Thank you, cartoon, for the follow. How's it going, bud? There's someone running around. That you? I just stopped moving so you can hear. Bar to think. Nothing. You. Oh, I just dropped down to the ground. That was me. Is that you? You just jumped out? Yep. Okay. All right, let's um, try to get out of here, I guess. Yeah, let's try to link up to. Yeah, I'm right outside his door. All right. You? Yep. I don't have shit. I only have a pistol. I have a shotgun. Okay, do you want to move to this building in front of me right here? Or yeah, wait, let's, let's see how far the zone is. Oh, the zone is extremely... Oh, behind us, behind us. Alright, I need... I'm injured. Bad. Alright, one second. Got my energy drink. Me too. Man, they have an assault rifle. I don't have shit. Coming up the stairs, I think. Oh my goodness. Please don't. Let's... Not right now. What's up, Pi? Let's go through this door. Go through this door. Okay. Ooh, backpack. Oh, you walked past the level two backpack. Just... I did? Yeah. They're still scrambling around outside. Nice to see you, Pi. Long time no see, man. Let him scrounge. Oh, my ears. I am outside oh. the window. Sit still for a second. Um, yeah, they're chilling right outside the window at 3.45. He's about to go through the brick door. We could repel outside of this thing. Got a grenade? I just threw a, a smoke, so let's just get out of here. Is that oh, you? Someone's shooting at me. Oh, oh someone sh shot me out of the sky. Are you, are you oh, dead? And there's someone right outside this door, too. No, I'm not dead. I'm still alive. Can you come back to where I'm at? Yep, I'm going through the smoke right now. Let's go upstairs, repel out, and then make a run for it. Repel? Or just hop out. Whoa, where the oh, fuck okay. is that coming from? I'm coming. I, I think there's someone coming. At least. I just don't want to see who they are for sure yet. Right here. Are you doing alright? Yeah, I'm okay. Alright, okay. I just need you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh, thank you, Sparto. I think they're outside. I can hear them on the grass, I think. I hope he opens that damn door. Damn dirty apes! <laughs> that them? Oh! Did you just open that? Nope. Fuck! Fucking shit. Mother... Yeah. Damn it. That was good. That was good. 
That's all right. That's one. Check. Warm up round, right? The warm up round. The warm up round. You got this. Shit. One soul, thanks for the sub. Did it not make the sub un sub announcement? Oh shit, I'm sorry. Hold on one second. Hey, Chris, the one and only. The audio is very faint compared to Matt's. Very what? Faint. Oh. Hmm, not sure how to fix that. Oh damn, Pi, thank you so much for the sub. I'm sorry that didn't that go through. Let's 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 have that go through right now. Faint. I guess they mean quiet. So, what is my voice quiet, Chris? Maybe you need to turn your desktop audio output up. Desktop audio. Sorry, guys. Was all the sub announcements not coming through in the guitar stream? I wasn't aware of that. Let's get that pi. Let's get that pi resub announcement to come through. There Sorry, we go. Yeah, thank you, pi. Did everyone else's subs not show up? I'm sorry. We'll, we'll make that all happen right now. Classified Live ZC to Slow Jam. Captain K's. Hi. Oh. One soul. Um, that Zimmerman. Falcon 140. Kinsbane. Netrom. Develo. Mr. Gore. James Rocks 96. Asina Way. Hey, uh, Chris, the one and only. Um, Big Long Pickle, what, Phil. What part of my audio is very faint? Is it my voice? The Real Maggot. Gakitsune, thank you for the bits. Uh, Kent Corpse Grinder. Capped Caveman, Little Turtle Boy. Sean Sun, thank you for the sub. I'm hitting replays on everything too, so let me know if you guys did not get your shout out. Sparta, Sirloin Steak, Degenerated. Damn, a lot today. Ceranical, Jason Paradise, of course. Theo Brando. Danthrax, Nashi Nosh. Digital Architect, Tightly Wound. Fucking okay, A. Like all my bagel things for the donation. Let's go to... DO Esports. Heat Circle. Harcom. Hot piece of toast. Alright, let's, um, let's jump out and... J five, Hill. Four, three, two, one. You guys let me know who else I might have missed today. Damn shit. Yeah, deformance. Um, I kind of fucked that up too. If you guys notice my alerts aren't going off, just just let me know. I have to sometimes restart the um, Streamlabs shit, but they should all be coming to fix through now. That, Chris, give me one minute. He said my audio and the computer, everything, the voice and the game audio is low. Okay, so that'd be the uh, the mixer slider you should see. Yeah, the volume mixer. Yeah, mic audio and desktop audio will have to come up. So is that device? Um, it should be straight on the mixer. Like as soon as you look at OBS, you should see that right away. Oh, oh okay. I think I gotta bring the gain up or something. Adoro, um, thank you for the sub. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate you uh, with all your honesty. <laughs> Which Chris is that? Um. Chris, I thought it was, the one and only. Uh, I thought it was Ghosties. Oh, no. Not that, Chris. He's an honest man himself. He is an honest man. Honest Christopher is what I call him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got this new uh, revolver gun. So there's oh, yeah? a new pistol in here. Nice. If anyone else missed their sub, please let me know. Yeah, I, I'm just hitting them all on uh, repeat now because... I, I wasn't aware because I didn't have headphones on during the guitar stream, so maybe people didn't mind too much the guitar stream me missing it, but get back to it now. 
I hit a repeat for every single one for today. I might have missed a couple. We'll get the rest in a sec. We gotta win. We gotta win. We are chicken dinnering it right now, okay? Gotta win. I'm not wearing this shirt for nothing. <laughs> I got my regular man outfit on, so I don't know if that's gonna help us win. It could. Sometimes originality is key. Oh, you almost got shot. Whew. Me? Yeah, I guess. Oh, so. from you. I, yeah. <laughs> I turned and I saw something running. There's a backpack here if you need it. Oh, cool. Thank you. So, my remember my friend Kevin I was telling you about um, from Suffocation? Yes. He, I was playing with him this morning. He's got PUBG all updated and everything. Oh, he nice. Talking about getting into the whole streaming thing as well. It's got to, man. Yeah, man. We gotta we create that metal community. Fuck yeah. Let me see if there's any other things real quick I missed. I just Kai ran across to this Kai barn Mon. just to see if there's anything over here. Yeah. Ooh, my cloak. Of course, you know my cloak. Goth kid cloak. Yeah. I need it. All right, so all the subs that I missed today should definitely be popping up now. Guys, sorry about that delay. Okay. Fingerless gloves. I think I need those. Um, right, how far are we from the circle? Not that far. I think we had a good drop this time. Yes. Neato Dro, thank for the sub. I think I got everybody, right? Right, guys? Anybody I missed? Let's, uh, you want to go to Picado over here? Yeah, I'll follow you. Northeast. Just sucks that every time we drop, we're always just given the most close quarters weapons. Yeah. Kitsune! Thanks for the, thanks for the bits. All right, these are all the replay subs and shit. So if you guys haven't subbed yet, make sure you sub. Make no, sure you follow Joe considered... as well. Oh. Yeah, it's it's like a secondary weapon, tertiary. Oh, okay. I was like, where's my pistol? All I have is a sawed-off shotgun. Actually, you want to jump into these little houses? Yes, I do. Over here? You read my mind. <laughs> Uniflow kid, thank you for the host. Did you see all the new um, vehicles and stuff, too? No, I didn't. I, there I was like, like um, that Volkswagen van. Really? Yeah. And there's like a pickup truck. I drove the Bronco, like Hopper's Bronco from Stranger Things. Ooh, I found a gun. M416, what's up, baby? Nice. There's a police vest here if you need it. Is that a car or is that real life that I'm hearing a car? Probably real life. Okay. What's up, Arias? I could walk through the door, but I'd rather pop through the window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Win 94, I do not want that. I don't like that thing. Um, honestly, I watched a dude crushing with that gun on the stream the other day. Really? Yeah. Kinda, very, what kind of ammo weird. does it take? Uh, I think 9mm or the .49. Uh, oh, 45. 45 ammo. You can't attach anything to that either, can you? There's people over in that town north of us. So Dosimeter, gonna take, think for the sub. We're going to take it very slow. Or dose meter. Do you have any scopes by any chance? Um, I do not. Win Damn dirty apes. What can you attach to the Win 94? Looks like it has one slot. The stock, I guess? Uh, either the stock or, or just a scope. Alright, um, I guess it's time to move, yeah? Yes, sir. Let's uh, let's go across the street. Go up. Actually, you know what? Let's let's just start going up because there's people in that area. So let's try to keep an eye out everywhere. I'll watch the right side. You watch the left side as we're going. Yep. Oh, put my weapons away and just start running. Hold Alt. You know about your left Alt button, right? While you're oh, yeah. uh, running. Yes, sir. 
That's why I auto run, and that's really good. Seanson, thank you for the follow, my friend. Everybody got the multi stream link there if you want to see both Joe and I. Oh, does it stay there? Or you have to keep posting it? Um, Yeah, you got to keep posting it. Oh, okay. Can someone drop that in Joe's chat as well, please? Please, that would be great. I'm uh, still trying to understand multitask world. It's hard. Like, I'll get caught up talking to people and die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess it's more important to be a good host, maybe? Probably. This area up here looks like it has not been looted yet. Okay, cool, I'm coming. What's up, Scan? Thanks. Arias. I don't know why I would still meet you in Paris and you possibly buy one of the live ones. No, I, I need him, man. I need him. I need to finish the tour. I wish I could, but... Especially because Paris isn't even at the end, so I'll need all the guitars for the whole run. Pickups haven't been quite working. Your white guitar is very beautiful. I'm Thank not a guitar you. player. That thing is... All the... Everything all white? Woo. Oh, yeah. Oh, you just scared me. Sorry. Classy guys only in here. Just kidding. <laughs> One of the fu funniest things that ever happened is I was playing with Cartmans and Ghosties, and they are both in the bathroom together, and they started saying weird things, and they both died. <laughs> <laughs> um, should we move to this next town in front of us? Sure. Let me. I'm going to pick up this Win95. It's going to be... Which town is that? Oh no, that town's gonna be fucking ransacked. Okay. Push more towards the circle. Maybe go at the top of this hill. Um. Yes. Coming down. On the way down. I should stay closer to you. Oh, that I didn't know that building has an upstairs. Did we go in the upstairs? Yeah, there's nothing up there. Okay. Uh, if you want, we can go straight across southeast over here and uh, go to those houses. Do it. What's up, Deformance? How you doing? Oh, he's, he came over here. Oh, the multi-twitch. There it is. Thank you, Deformance. Deformance is a super yeah, mod. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, C.H. Johnson, for the links. You guys super are great. Super mod. And Deformance, Impaculate, and Houtenstein, and Trivium Memes, they are crushing it as mods. They are very good mods. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. That's very good. They are now on the... Uh... I just learned the whole modding thing. Yeah, it, it helps. It helps. Absolutely. They are on the free shows for free shows for life train now. Oh, that's awesome. Check this. I'm gonna go across over here. It looks Shots like... happening in the mines, I think. There's a level two backpack right here. You should grab it. I got a two. Oh wait, did I drop mine before? Hey, you're on a one. I thought I. Hmm. Yup. Any of my trusty, long-standing mods? They are. They are set up. The formas didn't even know about that. <gasps> Another coat. If you want to be like me. Fuck yeah, we'll be Neo and Morpheus. Yes! Who's Neo and who's Morpheus? Your call, man. Can well, I, I be guess Morpheus? You got it, because I guess Kano does go, I'm going to learn jujitsu in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only impersonation I can do. <laughs> Keanu Reeves. That was pretty good. Though. That part's really funny. <laughs> okay, so this is about to close in again soon. How about we hang here for... Uh, uh, do you, you want to hang uh, do you need a scope? There's a scope in here, and I can't attach them to either of my guns. Which scope is it? It is a red dot. I'm hearing shots. Also a sniper rifle cheek pad. Tommy gun can't do attachments or a sight? It sucks. Yeah, it's so dumb. We got extended mags here if you need them for anything. No, I can't attach them. Um, yeah, red dot over holographic any day. Sorry about the constant Pikachu ringing sounds. I, I wanted to make sure all those subs that didn't go out did now. Alright, so the next circle is not that far. We're actually nice. in a good spot. 
Should we go into Les Leones and work our way or, or skip that town? It's yeah, probably... let's do that. Let's start going this way. Get on that high ground. I'm gonna run with my gun. Um, Deformance, did, or did anyone grab a screenshot of the viewer count from earlier for, uh, tweet it to me and I'll insta it as a little success memory. Uh, Aiden, thank you so much for seeing us in Vancouver. Oh yeah, I got to meet Aiden at the, uh, the meet and greet. Oh yeah? Yeah. There we go. It's funny, like, at all the meet and greets, that it was at least one to ten people that watched the stream. Every single really? meet and greet. Yeah, it was awesome. That's awesome. That's really cool. Alright. Awesome. Thanks, performance. Let's take it slow. Let's crouch. Deformance, how far do you feel like we're off from making that Discord official? An official Discord? Yeah, we've got an unofficial right now that um, the mods have been running and that Ghosty's mm -hmm. been working on as well. I've just... We're going to make it official once they feel like it's, it's fully ready. I think it's close. So what is, like, uh... So it's like a... You know when you've got like a WhatsApp chat group? Yeah. It's like that, except with all the people that you give server access to. Oh, okay. So it's like a constant, you could do vo voice chat or you can do um, do uh, text chat. I'll pop in for text chat every once in a while. There's a lot of Tommy guns in here if you want. Yeah, I'm okay. I just picked up one just because I wanted to get rid of that wind thing. Yeah, me too. I just, I just got... um. Type 14 instead. I have met some UCOG fans. Airwave, think of the resub. Awesome meeting in Sacramento. You as well. I thought... Um, I need a scope. A holographic one right there. Alright. This backpack looks like the backpack you and I own. That Herschel camo one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks just like that one. That's my go-to to and from bag every day. I, I love that bag. I love the, the the pinstripe on the inside. Yeah. Ooh, the pan and a four by scope. That's exactly what a I needed. Pan. Pan. We had it. We have a pan uh, emote, but I pulled it off to have some more ugly face ones. Hey, there's another. Um, oh, I found a four times. Scope. There's a type fourteen on this roof right now where I'm at. If you want to grab it, I mean a mini fourteen. Um. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna come take that. And there's also a level two helmet if you don't have oh, one of those yet. You know what? I'm not gonna take that. We should just start going. Yeah. That storm's coming at us right now. Yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah. We're just going up here. Oh, yeah. Aiden C, thanks for the host. Oh shit! I didn't even realize the zone was coming. Yeah, me neither. Where's the zone emotes, guys? I'm gonna disable that one too. <laughs> we had to make one because I kept dying in the zone. Yes, we're coming to Europe. Um, I'm not sure uh, specifically Sweden, but um, we're gonna be in Europe in February, March with Sepultura. Oh shit! Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah, that that tour is gonna be so cool. I'm very oh. excited. Eloy is so fucking good at drums. Very nice guy, too. Uh, it's going to be awesome watching those dudes every night. Yeah, Derek's also super, super nice guy. Yeah? Yeah. Do I have any fellow nerd friends on that tour? Hmm. I'm not sure. Am I going to be the only one crying for Wi-Fi? <laughs> <laughs> when are you guys over there? March? Uh, like February, late February, early March. Okay, we're going to be there... March, April. So, may, uh, you never know. Maybe might... we'll see you guys tour. Yeah. Uh, you guys may... Oh, so you guys are probably late March, right? Ah, uh, yeah, it might be. We might cross paths at one point. That'd be I'm cool. sure festivals. You guys need to get on some of those um, Danny Wimmer festivals, like Car ones? like Carolina Rebellion, Rock on the Range. Oh yeah, you guys That's, need to. I don't even know how we can like. I don't think we've gotten any offers from those yet, or like yeah, I would guys, love to. I yeah, love playing yeah, festivals. Chicago, right? Chicago Open Air would be really good for you guys too. They've got a Chicago really good Open second stage. Awesome. Like Meshuga headlined that one the year we played. All right, let's Those take really this area good. slow because there might be people here. Okay. 
Um, okay. Come with me if you want to live. What's up, Lord? That sounds good, Deformance. We should do that. Ooh, you gotta take your shoes off, man. Those are some loud shoes. Are they? Yeah. Well, I hear your feet slapping like you're oh, in my you kitchen do? again. <laughs> <laughs> you're just barefoot in my kitchen running around in a circle. <laughs> Sounds like it, dude. <laughs> All right, we're going to start pushing this way a little bit. Just be careful in these little areas because get a little weird. I wish I had a two-time scope. I'm not really a fan of the four. I have a hollow if you want that. I have um, I got a red dot in my bag in case I want to switch it up, but maybe I should just stop being a baby real quick. <laughs> There's another hollow over here. Another level two backpack. Katie Troll, thank you for the follow. This is basically a podcast. It basically is. Yeah. Now we just now we just gotta do metal talks. <laughs> Crash Natural, thank you for the follow. Just gotta yes, win. So nice. Yeah, right? Maybe then people will like us more. Probably. I mean, people don't seem to mind. Uh oh. Are we in the zone again? Oh, no. I thought it was. Oh, no, we're good. We're good oh we're fuck. Almost... We do need to run. Oh, we are a little far away. Maybe I can find us a vehicle. That'd be nice. Where are you? I'm. Where, where the fuck are oh, you? I thought you were behind me. Oh, shit. You're, you're around this hill thing? Yeah, yeah. I just uh -oh. I cut through. Right, Which I'm, gonna, I'm coming back. If you want, just keep going. I'm gonna towards. grab a boost. So I'm on a high ground area. I'm just trying to find car. Did you guys say I don't get boost until something with the boost? Uh. Shit. Oh man, all these follows. Thank you guys. Yes, good oh, work. Maybe a vehicle over here, possible. Man, go check it out. Yeah, I think I fucked up. No boost until the third bar. Okay, so that means I gotta like double up and shit. Airwave, thank you for the follow, bud. I think I should make it. I hope. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh. Oh, deformance. Thank you very much. I appreciate. Appreciate you. Yeah, I okay. found a uh, found a buggy. Oh, you did? Okay, I'm speed boosting and I'm running towards you. I'm go I'm gonna come. Daddy's coming to pick you up. <laughs> pick you up from school. <laughs> I'm hearing gunshots. From to our. Uh... All right. Thanks for the ride. Thank you for the follow class. Oh, go go go! What up, Ronald? Oh, we're good, we're oh, good, okay. we're good. We're good, you got it. Yeah, we'll be fine. Oh my goodness, there's so much terrain. Zakare is the scariest roadhog ever. Zakare's, I think, in here. Yeah, there he is. Hope none of us gets a shot out of this. It does, you know that other aim thing does make sense in the back of a vehicle. Slifer thinks what's up. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh fuck, keep driving, keep driving, keep driving. No! Oh, did you drop? He's, yeah, oh, he's, keep, man. keep going. Did you die oh, too? My dad, my dad is calling me. Yeah. Let me take this phone call real quick. Okay, I'm dead. You dead too? Yes. Hold on, dad. One second. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do have to jump off though because I have a client coming in right okay. now. Okay. No worries. I'll yeah. I'll be on later for sure. If you want to get some in, I saw you were playing Counter Strike Go before. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna jump into that right now for the next. Awesome. Nine cool. minutes. Well, right, thank dude. you. I yeah, appreciate you, man. you doing the co-stream with me. That was fun. Fuck yeah. Oh, any and every time, man. Cool. I will see you later tonight. Yeah, dude. You take care. Later, bud. You too. Bye, later, guys. Man. Later. Everybody, that was Joe. Make sure you all follow Joe from one of my favorite bands.
I blew it, meme dude. I didn't pre-aim enough. All right, we've got nine minutes. Nine minutes of CSGO. Can someone update the title? Nine minutes in paradise. Let me show follow Joe. Streaming later tonight. I suck at PUBG, man. I like this game, though. Oh, game capture. All right, now that we got like the crosshair shit and other shit Let's set draw. up, this should be good. When you start BJJ, I started three thirteen thirteen. Man, this game is so much louder than, um, PUBG. Game too loud for you guys or is it good? This game is significantly louder than Pub. Shit. A little too loud for me even. Shit. Making it quieter? Alright, what's that? It is so much louder, it's crazy. My gun, uh, my shot pattern sounded like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Da -da 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 -da. Is this a shotgun? No. Master volume down to 15%. Alright, we'll do that in a sec. Do the next death. It's so much louder, it's crazy. Shit. Sorry, buddy. Fuck! Already won? Um, master volume, down to... F master volume, down to what? It's about 15%. 15% on this? 0.15. Right? Or like here. Point fifteen reduction. Okay. Out there. That better? How's that volume? Okay, good. Yeah, this game is loud. It's weird. I think it's too quiet for me now. Son of a bitch. Hey, can someone hit that new title for me, please? Fuck. Not doing good.
fucking shit. This is not doing good. <laughs> not doing so good. Okay, I'm doing really bad now. <sighs> doing better yesterday. Nice. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that was a cool spawn point. Oh, yeah. There you go. All right. Gaming shit. Finally. <sighs> I was having more fun with this yesterday. <laughs> I think that dude j did just shoot through a wall. It's not going good. It's going very bad. Very bad. What the fuck was that? Shh. That did not work. Did not work. Try to sneak up. Wow. <laughs> Later, hot pie. Or hot piece. Sorry, that was that hot pie. I'm hungry now. I think my pie. Shit, nope, nope. Thanks, Tundra. Well, that is it for me today. I got a split. I do okay? 15 kills? For real? I think. Am I right? That might have been the best I've ever done. Alright. Well, thank you all very much for hanging out for this uh, clinic. PUBG. CSGO. I need to go and eat food. So... Keep notifications on, sub if you feel like it, and tell your friends to follow. Later.